energy stores and transfers. Energy is a fundamental concept in science, and the most important principle is the law of conservation of energy. This means that energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only move from one store to another. No matter where energy is stored, it's the same thing, just in a different place. But some stores are more useful to us than others. Let's take a look at the different energy stores. The chemical store. This is the energy stored in chemical bonds. Food, batteries and fuels are all chemical stores. Elastic potential. This is the energy stored in an object that has been stretched or squashed. A compressed spring or a stretched elastic band are examples of elastic potential. The gravitational potential store. As objects get higher off the ground, their gravitational potential store increases. The kinetic store. Any object that is moving has a kinetic store. The faster the object moves, the higher its kinetic store. The internal store, also sometimes called the thermal store. All objects have an internal store, and the hotter an object gets, the higher its internal store. The last three are asked about a lot less, but it's still good to know them. We have the electrostatic store. When two charged objects are held near each other, but apart from each other, there'll be an electrostatic store. Similarly, we have the magnetic store. So when we have two magnets held near each other, but held apart, there'll be a magnetic store. And finally, we have the nuclear store. This is the energy stored within the mass of the nucleus of atoms. So now we know where energy can be stored, we also need to know how it can move from one store to another. Because as we saw earlier, energy cannot be created or destroyed. So if one store increases, another store must have decreased. Energy can be transferred mechanically. This is by forces such as friction or gravity. Any time a force is acting, we call it a mechanical transfer of energy. Let's look at an example. We've got a child here ready to go down a slide. At the top of the slide, the child has their gravitational store. And as they move down the slide, that is transferred to their kinetic store mechanically by the force of gravity. Some of that gravitational store is also mechanically transferred to the internal store of the slide and the child by friction. An electrical current can also transfer energy from one store to another. In this example, we've got the chemical store of the battery and it's being transferred to the kinetic store of the motor spinning round by the electrical current. Energy can also be moved from one store to another by heating. For example, if I make a fire out of wood, the chemical store of the wood reduces and is transferred to the internal store of the air which will increase. We can also transfer by radiation, by electromagnetic waves like light or infrared. So the fire in our previous example was not only transferring the chemical energy of the wood to the internal store of the air by heating, but also by radiation. It's really important you understand this concept of conservation of energy and the idea that if one store decreases, another store must increase. And we always need to look at where all the energy has gone.